stage thing. Like a, a, a dancing school would have a program and they would bring it there at St. John's. But one thing you got to really understand is that the St. Boys, St. John's boys were critics. If they didn't like it, they told you. <laughs> I mean, they, they would no pretenses about it. But uh, it was not, uh, I'm so, you know, like some of the kids, they would be broken hearted when they went home because the kids, you know, didn't applaud. But uh, we had to. There's another thing. We uh, played basketball. Well, we had the one big court down there, and then we put two up there. And the j in the field, we had a great big field. You've never been there, have you? You have been there, but I don't think you remember. It's a very large field, completely cement. But um, it was, uh, we played basketball the game all, all the time. And I'm trying to think of, you know, some of the, some of the things there, you, you give them the old boot, you know, in the back and uh, all this stuff. Another, another thing, playing basketball. We played the, the name may be different, but it's the Ebenezer Baptist Church. And we played the boys at that church. And I'm telling you, they pulled my pants down. They stepped on my feet. They did everything so that I wouldn't get, you know, get up and get a uh, pass or something. They did everything. And then after the game was over, the guy said there, he said, that's what we, we like to make good gentlemen out of these. It helps the boys, but it may be better. And I just said, oh my God. So, uh, I don't know where I'm going from here, but we had, uh, after I got married, frankly, I didn't know whether we could have children or not. And, uh, you know, you accept that as is. So anyway, it turned out that uh, one night your mother had to see a doctor, she wasn't feeling right. And she comes out, she says, I'm pregnant. Or your mother always says, guess what? <laughs> I'm pregnant? Oh, well, that was, it was wonderful. And uh, turn that off. So anyway, uh, So that was Tommy. That, that was young Tom. When we saw him uh, in... Uh, in the hospital, he looked like Churchill. But I understand a lot of kids look like Churchill. He was in an incubator. And uh, I think it was that time there where uh, I had been talking before that with this one guy. He had had, he had, had a, a child, and when the child was born, it died of uh, lung problems. And... Uh, I was sent out to see my child, and he was sent out to talk to the doctor. The doctor's right there. And the doctor starts to tell him how this child may have lung problems. Well, the guy just collapsed, you know. And uh, the guy wants to pull him over to the chair. I said, let's pull the chair over to him. <laughs> I admire doctors. But anyway, um, Everything turned out right. Everything turned out with right with all my children, and boy, do we thank God for that. Because so much could happen. But uh, we were living in the uh, Overbrook then, big house. You know, everybody was had more room they needed, and uh, so we were comfortable, and I was happy. I was going to the office, and uh, finally I got a job with Ro Russell Cooney, and uh, who promised me, you know, that, well, he's getting up in age, and 
And if he should die, then I would get all of his clients with the exception of Temple University. He didn't know Temple University, but you get the other clients. So anyway, um, the... Um, Things went on and until uh, Russell Cooney got sick. Then he just uh, walked out and that was the end of that one. If you understand what I mean, I got nothing. So anyway, uh, I then had to start my own business. Here again, you know, we were no.